Mr. Heiser. Oh, 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 yeah! Oh, no, shit! <gasps> you just shot the biggest deer in North America. You just dropped. Did you see that, Cody? You are a perfect stranger. <laughs> We're best buddies right now. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh. Imagine a life where all your hopes and dreams come true. Heck of a bull, man. Oh. Where somehow you find your way. Oh my gosh, there he is. If it was only that easy, but something so glorious could never come for free. It takes sacrifice and determination. I say that life is too short not to do what you love every single day. And I say it's too short not to spend it with the one you love. We're Cody and Kelsey Robbins. And we live to hunt. Kelsey just shot a on your bull boat. I was like, I couldn't see him. Give me the crossbow, I'll shoot him. Awesome, Buck. Nice. <laughs> what a beauty. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, ah! Look at this. Look how big he is. How exciting is that? How exciting is that? In last week's show, we were in hot pursuit of a giant non-typical muley buck, an old brute that handed us our lucky shorts on a platter over and over again. Everything from swathers, wind direction, and an overabundance of bad luck left us licking our wounds, bringing you up to speed. Once again, my best friend Shaner and I were digging deep in hopes to change the momentum on our worst archery mule deer start in history. super sneak up to this choke tree bush and spotted him coming out of the big willow slough in the pasture over. I don't know this deer, I don't know what he's doing. It seemed our bad luck train wasn't showing any sign of losing steam. There's days where this buck disappears and we can't find him anywhere. right where we're going right now. It's a tiny little spot that's out of the way. And it's dangerous because we're going right into his house, if that's where it is. And there's no vantage anywhere. Risky as hell, but if that's where he is, we gotta try. I can see the water horn guy. The one-horned spiker that was with him on day one was there. The tall three-point that laid beside him on day two was also there, but no sign of the buck we were after anywhere. I don't know, I think we're wasting our time. We can't see him, we can see his three buddies. It's frustrating when you're hunting a deer that you see every single day that the conditions are bad. And the days the conditions are perfect is a no-show. This buck had us frazzled and had stolen our confidence out of our front pocket. Something had to give. One of my best buds, Dustin Flunder, leaves an open invite for me to come film a lucky Alberta resident hunting elk for the season opener on his ranch every year. In years past, it's been a slam dunk, a game-rich environment that's an absolute honor to experience. This was the perfect opportunity to get away and a chance to change our negative momentum for the good. It was incredibly hard driving away from that buck, but I think it was exactly what Shaner and I needed and the buck too if we were ever going to get him.
Live to Hunt with Cody and Kelsey is brought to you by Rage, leading the evolution in lethal technology, Bowtech and Squincher, Primos and 10 point crossbow technologies. We made it to uh, Dustin's house. I met Rod and Scott and Brent. I've been texting Dustin back and forth for the last three days. He's been telling me about all these big bulls have been out here and it's been a really, really good year for elk coming out and the rut started. I think we've got a really good chance. We're kind of hoping that a whole bunch of pressure gets lifted off our shoulders this morning. <laughs> My friends Rod and Brent Sinclair were the callers, and a gentleman by the name of Scott Beck was the lucky hunter with the coveted tag. So we've got a bullet answer just over here, and three, three or four across here. They're strung out all over. This is the bull we turned down last night. How big is he, Rod? Uh, this is a 355 class bull. Oh, he's a beauty. All wallowed up, all by himself. Just kind of coming in here looking for cows. With these few bugles, he could be one of them that's just hanging there. And if he's still by himself, I think we can bring him in on a fish hook. We're going to try. We have six or seven different elk screaming all around us. I can't imagine how we're not going to have some exciting action happen right away. Walking through the dew-soaked blades of grass on this, the 7th day of September, and lived to hunt without a successful hunt on camera since home opener, I was praying the elk gods would reward us on this day. So 
a good one? That's a good bull. That's the one we seen last night, Scott. That's a six by seven. <coughs> That's a six by seven. I'm, I'm guessing I said 355 plus last night. He may be better. I get downwind of us though. Scott, shoot him in the neck if you have to, if that's all you see. Oh, just like that. Nice. Thanks, guys. That's the same bull as we saw last night. His thirds are something else. Oh, Scott. He just dropped. Did you see that, Cody? You are a perfect buddy. stranger. We're best buddies right now. That was awesome. Oh, man. I can't believe we got that on tape. I think you'll That's be happy cool. with that bull. For sure. If he's not, I'll take him home. I was asking. I was like, <laughs> So, what did I call him yesterday? 355. Yeah. You gonna yeah. hold me to that? Yeah, I am. I'm not a very good judge. If he doesn't have back forks, I don't really know what they score. <laughs> but I'd say he's bigger than that. You th he may be, he's and that's okay with me. Let's go over and look at him, and then we'll decide. <laughs> look at that. Today he is beautiful. Wow. How many hunters in their lifetime get to walk up to a bull elk like this? And how many hunters dream about it? Everybody dreams about it, but not very many guys ever get the chance. 10 years, Scott, you put me for the permit? 10 years for that. 10 years for this draw down here. It hasn't sunk in yet. It really hasn't. Like, I can't believe it's me getting this, a bull like this. I've waited 10 years, over 10 years for this hunt. Um, so I made contact with Dustin there, or, uh, and uh, when I got the draw, and we set this hunt up, and he put me in contact with, uh, with a pretty good crew. So, <laughs> it's unbelievable, a bull like this. When you're a passionate trophy hunter, there's not one guy out there that doesn't dream about shooting a monster bull elk at some point in his lifetime. And it's an animal that you don't just go out and get a great big one every single year. And that's why there's draws like this that take 10 years because it's a once in a lifetime hunt, maybe twice in a lifetime if you're lucky. And to come up on this ridge and have a giant six by seven bull elk come over in the horizon within a hundred yards and give us that <coughs> shot and let all of us experience that. And this is a great bull. We got against the edge of the trees, kept cow calling. And just like Cody said, we sucked him right in and uh, and Scott put the boom on him and yeah, he's got himself a really great elk. And you know, Brent's been in on, I don't know how many elk hunts over his career, probably a hundred different bulls, but, uh, and probably 20 or 30 for me and it never gets old. No, Something no like way. this, it's just yeah. awesome. To be able to be up here with Scott, the lucky gentleman that drew this tag, to have Rod Sinclair of Sinclair Imagery here, he takes tremendous photographs and to have Brent Sinclair here from Porcupine mm -hmm. Creek Outfitters. We're so fortunate to be here on the top of this hill and have permission from Dustin and to experience this. I just want to thank all of you. I want to thank you, Scott, for letting me come along and Brent and Rod for letting me be here and to help us out like this. It's uh, an amazing experience. Thank you very much. I think this was exactly what I needed to get the ball rolling and hopefully steer some of this momentum home with me to join Shaner again for the Big Muley. This portion of Live to Hunt is brought to you by Prophet River Firearms, your source for the finest firearm. And Sugar Creek Taxidermy, award-winning design. He's gonna work through this pasture, which we grew up hunting in. We've spent our years since we were barely able to pull a bow back. And we're gonna set up and hope that he comes by there. I mean, you never know what's gonna happen, but it'd be nice if he come right down the old garden path, so to speak, and we get a look at him up close for a change. We're gonna shoot.
gotta wait for him to stand and move out left or right. This could be it. Shaner was right. If we could find a better angle for camera and his bow, it would be ideal. But the risk we took separating from each other was huge. As I was crawling through the thorns, I heard a grunt come from Shane behind me and realized he was pulling his bow. I could see nothing of the buck, so I zoomed up on where I thought he was and waited. Did you get him? You just drilled him? Come on. Come on. You drilled him. You honestly did. I was just sneaking around to get a better look. And he stood up. He's gonna go down. Yeah! Oh, boy. Yeah! Gold oh, shit! Oh, you just shot the biggest deer in North America. And we've been out since the first day. We had swather spook us, wind swirl, no wind. Shane, the swathers didn't spook us. They didn't. <laughs> Holy smokes. I know you hear us say it meant to be, meant to be stuff, but we put our heart and soul into oh. this buck and we have worked. We put our For life weeks. into this. For us to kill a great big muley. Live to Hunt with Cody and Kelsey is brought to you by Mossy Oak. It's not a passion, it's an obsession. Stealth Cam ZX7 Series, the game has changed. Heater Bodysuit, you stay warm or your money back. Block Targets and Vortex. Thompson Center and Black Eagle Arrows. an honor to be able to walk up to a buck like this. One of the biggest moments in the guy's hunting career. Oh, he's Got a drop tine. I've never shot a drop tine deer, and I was really hoping, but he busted off. Look at that thing. Isn't he unreal cool? That back fork is unreal. This hunt for this buck, sneaking up on him that many times and being able to compile that much footage of one deer was absolutely crazy. Yeah, it was, it was pretty awesome. I mean, I, w I was hoping to heck like my big brother would whack him, but I mean, he's working and fortunately, I put more emphasis on hunting than working. So <laughs> we've snuck this deer at least a dozen times and one thing or another went wrong and today it just finally all come together and he bedded in a great spot. We had the wind, it all worked out and what Absolutely. Can you say? he's fantastic. These, these points are ridiculous. His back forks are incredible. Big crowns and splits and hooks. It's unfortunate he bust off that front point. We don't know what happened. Even with those points broke off, he still has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 scoreable points. And he's changed a little bit from the year before. He's got a little bit bigger typical frame the year before and bigger, longer stickers and just more stickers this year. But he's a classy looking yeah, buck. He's pretty awesome. And Shane, you made a wicked shot with your Bowtech bow, your Black Eagle arrows, your Rage broadheads and I just want to congratulate you, man. Thanks, Cohen. I appreciate it. It's always a pleasure when we get oh. together. 
Sometimes hunting can get the best of you and it's easy to lose confidence. Once a situation turns negative, sometimes the best thing to do is just walk away from it and clear your mind. I think the reason we got this big old buck, the elk hunt got our confidence back. And when we return to mule deer country, we were fresh again, thinking more clearly. So the next time you're losing the battle in hunting country, maybe take a day off. It might be all you need to succeed. I am going to shit. Join Cody and Kelsey on Facebook for live updates and in-field photos from the Live to Hunt team. Go to livetohunt.com to order the latest in Live to Hunt apparel, DVDs, and other merchandise. Next week's previews are brought to you by Squincher, hydration that works. Next week, we're headed to the Yukon to hunt the most beautiful, untouched wilderness left in North America, to hunt for mountain grizzly bear and the mighty Alaskan Yukon moose. It has been my dream since I was a little boy to shoot a giant bull over 60 inches, and this show is my favorite of the year for good reason. See you next week. Yeah.